Hey guys, Mystic at the Crossroads here. Okay, super, super duper quick video. Um, this was actually like totally an unplanned video, but I got some stuff that I wanted to just show you and sort of chit chat with you a little bit. And I knew that if I didn't do it right now while I was thinking about it, like I get super bombarded and it would never happen. Um, I came across some really cool items that I just wanted to like give you guys some ideas of what you can do with it and where I found them, okay? Um, this lighting in here is kind of bad, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I was actually getting ready for ritual and redoing my altar and that's why it kind of prompted me to say, well, let me show, re show everybody, you know, the stuff that I have for my altar. Um, so yeah, you have to excuse me too because I'm not like all glitz and glammed up tonight, but you know what? This is me, it's my life, I'm at home um, practicing magic and this is how I do it, so. All right, really quickly, super quick story. So it's like, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's like 10 o'clock or maybe 11. And it was 107 degrees here today in LA, like 107 dry degrees. So it's been freaking hot all day and just really uncomfortable. So I was sitting here and I like to like rest a little bit before I start ritual or before I do readings. Um, I had dinner earlier and I kind of just like try to take a nap or just relax and clear my mind and just kind of center myself and get myself ready before I start dressing my altar. So something said, you know what, while you're here and it's hot in the house, you know, let's get out for a minute. Let's go, let's go get some stuff. So I decided, all right, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. And I was going to Whole Foods to get some natural soap. Um, I use something called like Zoom Bar or a goat milk bar, if you guys are familiar with those. I don't use like Dove and Caress and all that other stuff. Um, not knocking anyone that does, but I just prefer using more natural products. So. so I'm at Whole Foods and I'm in the soap section and something happened to catch my eye. And they have this new line of soap by, it's called Forest Nymphs, which is interesting. But what caught my eye was like, one of the soaps was labeled Love Drawing, there was um, Rose Quartz, there was, um, and then the one that caught me, of course, said Witch Witch, right? Now, to the untrained eye, someone would be like, oh, how cute, Halloween soap, right? Because it had the little witchy thing on it or whatever. And I started looking and I started reading the little fine print, like the little card of what each soap is. And it says on there that the soaps were handmade. Um, they were blessed under the appropriate phases of the moon. And like the rose quartz one and the love one, of course, was for positive energy and drawing in love. They had one called Sugar Daddy. Um, and it smelled really good, too. They had, um, and then they had like Aqua and they had like some other ones or whatever. So, and then the Witch Witch was a combination of orange and lavender. And I thought, hmm, that's an interesting combination. Like... Lavender is associated with calming energy, and orange, I know, is, is an ingredient that is sometimes used in um, love drawing or in road opening. So I'm like, hmm. Now, these soaps that they have at Whole Foods already have a, a, a purpose behind them. Of course, they're not advertised like that, but if you know what the essentials and the botanicals are for, then you know you know what to buy for what so for example they have like frankincense and myrrh they have um uh patchouli soap sandalwood they have dragon's blood which is you know for money drawing for can be used in love rituals it can even be used for for um, unhexing sometimes but again to the untrained eye or to someone that doesn't practice magic or isn't into essential oils and botanicals and stuff like that they wouldn't know that they would just think these are just scents and they smell good so when I buy soap, um, there's kind of a dual purpose. Of course, I want to smell fresh and smell pretty, but I also, it's just another way of, of really practicing ritual. And my, me personally, my entire life is a ritual. My entire life revolves around, I mean, I don't want to say my daily revolves around witchcraft, but in a way it does. You know, I, I get up in the morning, the soaps that I use have oils to associate it with what it is I'm trying to attract to myself or remove. I anoint myself with hoodoo waters and oils as I get dressed for the day. I say my morning affirmations. Um, so, but you know, there's just little things that I do every day that's incorporated in my regular routine where it's still practicing magic. Okay, soaps 
also are very good for those of you that maybe you live in a household where you can't practice magic or maybe you live in a household where you know for example you and your spouse are feuding or your kids are being disruptive you know you hand them a bar of lavender soap you don't even have to tell them you just put some fresh lavender soap in there and put the intention like y'all gonna calm your little selves down okay so that's just another inconspicuous way of practicing magic where no one would really suspect anything I mean it's soap for God's sakes right huh that's what they think so anyway um there is a moral to this story so long story short I ended up getting some soap trying this new brand and buying some like other different soap there because I'm just kind of tired of the Zoom bars. They're super expensive. In the meantime, while I was out, I said, okay, let me go to the grocery store and get some fresh flowers for my altar. My flowers for Oshun. I had some beautiful yellow flowers for Oshun and just a combination of the heat and the water evaporating. I guess since yesterday, my flowers died and they're gorgeous yellow tulips. I'm, I'm kind of sad that they died, but anyway. So I get to Ralph's grocery store and you know right now it's a little harvest section so they've got the pumpkins and they've got like the the fall decor and all that kind of stuff there and I'm looking at the flowers and I'm not too impressed like I don't really see yellow I see some somewhat dying yellow roses and I don't want to put anything that's dying on the altar I see big fancy bouquets for you know twenty dollars or whatever which is not about the money but at the same time, I'm not going to spend $20 on a bouquet of flowers when it's 90 degrees in my apartment and they're going to end up dying. You know what I'm saying? And they weren't really the colors I want. I really was feeling specifically getting some yellow. Now, the spirits don't make that big of a fuss about it and they're going to be appreciative of whatever it is that I put up there. But I've been really, you guys know I work with Oshuna a lot, but I've been feeling her energy weighing on me so heavy. And it's just like when you date a woman, you give a woman, you want to give a woman something that you know she likes to make her happy. So I know she likes yellow flowers. I'm going to get her some yellow flowers. You feel me? Um, I would have got sunflowers, but they were just, none of the flower selection was that good. So anyway, as I'm cruising through the flower section for like maybe a good 20 minutes trying to decide what to get or maybe combine something and I'm, I'm getting a little discouraged because they don't have yellow or the yellow they have are dying and I'm like well should I go to another store but it's 10 o'clock at night like who the heck feels like doing that anyway I stumble across these things I totally forgot about these but this is a cinnamon broom it's a mini cinnamon broom and it, it smells so good I have a big cinnamon broom that I used to use and clear my workspace like before I get ready to cast my circle I would sweep all the energy out um, and now that there's a little mini one I'm gonna add this onto my altar number one it smells good uh, we all know cinnamon is associated with prosperity and money drawing so that's gonna aid in any type of ritual workings that I do for clients that are doing prosperity work and I can use it to clear the energy around my altar before I cast my circles for any type of spell work that I do. So I was really excited to find this. It was $1.99 and because it's small and the altar, my working altar is a little bit smaller than the one that I used to have, um, it's the perfect size to go in there. The next thing I found was, well, Shun loves pumpkins and I already have a pumpkin up there for her, but I saw these and I wanted to get another one. I love that this little one's so cute. Um, but I'm going to do a video on how to use this in a in a ritual, actually, um, probably tomorrow. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I said, well, it can sit on the altar, you know, overnight till I get ready to dress it and everything. And I will show you guys how to do this. So definitely be on the lookout for that video it's something I do every October and I've never shown anyone so I figured I might as well show you guys now and then I found the cutest little thing in the world a baby pineapple isn't that adorable and it smells good it's golden yellow um, I can tell you right now this is not gonna stay on the altar very long because I really want to eat it <laughs> But it was so cute and I wanted to put it up there and again, it's miniature for my miniature size Well, it's not a miniature working space, but it is significantly smaller than what I'm used to so this will fit on the altar perfect um, I just don't want to overcrowd the altar. So I thought that would be really cool and then I got 
one of these, which are these little dried um, ears of corn. And what this symbolizes is um, prosperity, it's abundance, you know. This time of year, as we approach Samhain and we approach Thanksgiving, um, Samhain especially, and we'll go into that later with like dumb suppers and stuff like that, but this is the time to be grateful, to give thanks. You know, back in the old days, farmers would harvest all of their food over the spring and summertime, and they would, you know, hope to grow enough to sell, to make money, but more or less hope to grow enough to last through, through the winter months. Um, that was really important to make sure you had a successful crop. And if you did this time of year and you had, you've had you harvested enough food to last you and your family and maybe even help your fellow neighbor out through the winter months, you want to be grateful and, and give thanks. So corn and grain and things like that were a symbol of, of having abundance because if you had enough of this, you knew that you and your family were going to eat. So I'm going to be adding this on my altar, um, again, as a, you know, symbolic Sim symbolism of abundance and prosperity and I am going to go back and get some more since it's only once a year you can find them but I thought that that was really cool and then uh, just my usual wine that I got for Oshun and it's funny I didn't even think about this until late till later so I didn't get a big bottle I always get a big bottle of wine and I end up drinking most of it but I decided to grab this one now don't judge me y'all with my box wine okay I actually like this I but hell, I drink anything that's on sale. But <laughs> after I was like in line paying for the stuff, I looked at the, the carton and I'm like, dude, the carton is yellow. Who the heck would have thought, right? So this is Oshun's wine. This is going to go in a glass for her. Okay. But the one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is how you have to really listen and pay attention to spirit and let spirit lead you when you're making decisions. Now, rewind back to the flowers I ended up picking out 10 no a dozen of roses for ten dollars some beautiful pink roses they weren't really what I wanted because I wanted yellow but they were the best set of flowers that were there without going into the twenty dollar you know bundle bouquet of flowers that I just really didn't want because they were the wrong color and like I said I didn't want to spend twenty dollars on flowers that were gonna die so I'm walking down the aisle and I'm looking for some honey and you know the spirit says to me like loud and clear I heard it so clear I, I heard it like like your best friends talking standing next to you talking to you and the spirit was like you don't have to stress yourself out like we know what your intentions are and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money on these flowers now to me the money didn't mean anything I would have spent the 10 I would have spent the 20 I was happy to do it you know they know the energy and intention behind your offering. They also know what you're able to afford to spend. They know how much money you have. I mean, in my opinion, the spirits are the ones that are blessing me with it. So I can't try to penny pinch and hold on and be like, oh, I don't want to spend $10 on flowers for the spirits. Like, are you kidding me? It's going to come back to me eventually, you know, and when I put offerings on the altar, it's not for my own gain, it's out of gratitude. It's out of gratitude for myself, it's out of gratitude for my clients, it's out of gratitude for just all the blessings that I have in my life. So spending $10 on some flowers is like, it's a no brainer. But something was like, go down this aisle. And it was some, like the picnic aisle, or like, you know, where the sodas are. I don't even go down that aisle because I don't buy anything from there. I don't drink soda. I never go down that aisle. And I'm like, okay, I'll go down this aisle. Why not? So here I am with my basket moseying along, getting ready to check out. And boom, right in front of my face, like big sign, it's a flower display, like flowers, fresh flowers with a big sign that says manager special reduced price. Look at these. These are in perfectly good condition. They're a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And I got them for $4.99. And the original price, I can't see the original price on here. They have a tag over it. But anyway, whatever the price was, they were more than, they were at least $10. So I put the pink flowers back and I was just like, thank you spirit, you know, for leading me down the part of the grocery store I would have never went to with flowers sitting in a part of the grocery store that you wouldn't normally, like, why are flowers in the soda section, right? Exactly. 
So I'm super happy. I'm getting ready to re, well, just clean off my altar, cut the flowers, redo everything, put my offerings up there, and then prepare for doing tonight's rituals. But I wanted to just share that really quick story with you guys because I thought it was, you know, it was interesting. And, and my point to all this, forgive me, I'm a little hyper right now and I haven't had my daily glass of wine, but my point to all this is keep your eyes and ears open okay start training yourself because witchy products and things that you can use items and things to go on your altar can be found in many 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 places but not displayed as such okay um so keep your eyes open when you're out when you're looking for stuff you know really try to pay attention you may find something you may find soap that smells good but has a purpose for money drawing or you may go down the wrong aisle and find flowers that are marked off half price in the wrong section. Um, and just be open to following your intuition, following your spirit. Had I not went down that aisle, I wouldn't have never found those flowers. I would have just like turned around and, you know, went past the pastries or something and checked out and bought the pink flowers home, which I wouldn't have been 100% satisfied with. And I would have missed out on this. So that's the moral of my story um, I'm super excited about these great items if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them again tomorrow I'm gonna be doing this um, ritual with the pumpkin so it's a really good video super easy to follow along and it's also something fun that you can do with your children uh, for those of you that allow you know you practice magic in the home and your little ones are curious they may want to do something with you this is something that they can do too and you can um, put it on your altar and do a really awesome spell. So I'll go over all of that with you guys tomorrow. I love you. Thank you for watching my video. Excuse me in my, my witchy house attire. Um, but hey, this is me. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon.